Lively. And this is the good news. Welcome to another show. I believe this is episode five from New York City slash Brooklyn in the middle of snowstorm Ezekiel. All right. First story comes from New York. Thanks to you for the, uh, the idea of putting some New York news in every one of these shows. I think we're definitely going to do that going forward. 9 a.m. Financial District, Lower Manhattan. A jogger jogs along the street and sees a homeless man with shoes that have holes in them, standing there, sitting there on the ground with a little sign with holes in it also, and says, you know what, I'm going to give this person my shoes, and that's what he does. The jogger stops, he's anonymous by the way, no one knows his name, gives the shoes to the homeless man, says a kind note to him, and the jogger walks off with bare feet. A woman in a taxi nearby saw this happening. She videotaped it, put it on videotape. <laughs> she filmed it, probably with her iPhone, no tape involved. <laughs> what is this, 1995? Uh, and put it on YouTube, and it went viral, got a ton of views, and a local New York entrepreneur offered the man a job. So that's super cool. Not just did one kind act make a difference, but then it compounded to another kind act for this guy, for this homeless man. Uh, the homeless man's name was Joe Arroyo. Pretty cool. Alright, this is one from the uh, hailstorm yesterday that didn't make it in because the camera froze. Hopefully it doesn't happen again today. Uh, Kenya got its first ever solar plant that first ever water... I'm going to try... I don't know. We'll start this again. <laughs> uh, that's why we have coffee here. Fun tip though, it's actually cold brew coffee. Gonna have to change that for the next episode if we do it again in the snow. Alright, so in Kenya, the first ever solar-powered seawater treatment plant that turns seawater into drinkable water was turned on and is currently giving people in Kenya healthy water. Now, with 2.2 billion people on the planet, we haven't solved this yet. And with 71% of the planet covered in water, it seems like a pretty good place to start. This is not investment advice, but if I were me, I would go invest in this company, Give Power, which seems to do, be doing some pretty darn cool work. We're not trying to promote companies on here, but you know, like that's a pretty cool company and I totally support it. So hey, um, yeah, that's pretty cool. Turn seawater to drinking water. 2.2 billion people don't have drinking water in the world. Are you kidding me? We need more of these machines. That's really awesome. We need other solutions. And it's cool to see with so many news items about the climate and how things are going wrong on earth. Actually, there's some really cool stuff. There's tons more of this. There's tons more good news about climate in the world. That's not to say we shouldn't take it very seriously and keep doing what we're doing and rest while we're ahead. All right, because we're not ahead. We're still behind. We're catching up. This is proof of it. All right, this next one is unreal amazing. Like, just whoa. I mean, they all are, I guess. 14-year-old boy shot and killed an innocent teen because a gang told him that's what he needed to do for his initiation. In court, this 14-year-old boy is sentenced to murder. And the mom of the slain victim, her son, stands up, she's been crying the whole time, and says, I'm gonna kill you, as the boy is taken out to jail. Sits back down, says nothing else. Six months, a year goes by. The mom visits the boy who killed her son in jail, wanted to get to know him. Wanted to get to know the boy that killed her son. At the end of the conversation, gives, gives him uh, some money for cigarettes, and she keeps coming back again, birthdays, holidays, whatever. She just keeps making a recurring talking with this boy until he's 18 and he's about to get released from jail and he has nowhere to go she asks him where he's gonna go he doesn't know he doesn't have any family she says you know what i have a spare room and also i'm gonna try to get you a job at my friend's factory six months goes by and the woman the mom says to the boy who's been living with her hey i want to talk with you she said you remember that day when i told you in the courtroom i'm gonna kill you he's like yeah never forget it she's like you know what i did kill you I killed the boy that killed my son. My way of helping you, my way of changing you was to do what I did. And that boy is gone. I killed that guy. Now, you are a changed person. And the person I want to adopt you. How rad is that? Like what? And she adopted this boy. So this story specifically, I found through an amazing video on Instagram, and you can follow me on Instagram if you want. Uh, I post some of these things sometimes. J I R A F F A Z is my name there. And uh, this came, the story came from 
at OK Emotion. So the Instagram account, O-K-A-Y-E-M-O-T-I-O-N. And that's an amazing video, and I hope you all keep making more videos like that, because that was beautiful. Thank you for doing that. I appreciate it. And that's it. We did three stories in a snowstorm. Be sure to subscribe down below. Let me know what you want to hear, what you want to see, what you think. Um, you know, the show is, it's, it's fun, and it's something to surface good news. It makes me happy. It, it helps support my happiness, and it helps support the happiness of those of you who've written it, and I'm so grateful it's making an impact. And um, so let me know. It's a co-creation. It's an experiment. We're going to keep going here for, I think it's another 94 days, maybe even longer. Who knows? But I want to give some shout-outs real quick on this episode. I want to shout-out to my mom, who made me, who's awesome and has a great charity, Knots of Love. Check it out. Sticky, great idea on the local, a local news element every single day. Uh, Joe Kim, thank you for your heads up and advice on the, the camera angle and the, the riser that I'm sitting on. We're going to keep improving on that. K. Ellie, me, and me, Shell, J. Ill, A. A. Ron, D. Nice, and the whole Soul Fam. Thank you for all the feedback. Uh, Matt from Crash, thanks, man. Josh, Daryl, Kavika, Gavin. Happy birthday, Robin. Happy belated birthday. Will, John Cornell. Thanks for all the support, Will and John Gordiel. Y'all rock, literally rock and roll. 